in general, we, see, we do see allergies. Allergies are one of the more common complications, and we see three areas of allergies in pets. We see flea allergy dermatitis, which by far and away is the most common type of allergy that we see. Keeping your pet on your year-round uh, broad-spectrum flea control uh, preventatives is uh, definitely recommended. The other two areas that we see with regards to allergies are going to be food allergies and seasonal allergies. The unfortunate thing is oftentimes if pets have an allergy to one of those three areas, they're going to have adverse reactions to within some of the other aspects. So for instance, if a pet's primary problem is a food allergy, they're still likely going to adversely respond to fleas or even changes within the environment complicating factors with regards to allergies and the skin in general is very, very often we're actually seeing pets for secondary skin infections, whether that's a bacterial infection or a yeast infection or the combination of those two things. And oftentimes those secondary infections, though they're, they're more straightforward to treat and manage, can be very complicated and long and, dr and, and, long and drawn out uh, in their management.